Hello guys, good evening. This is the third video I'm making today. You know, I made this two times then. <laughs> They all fucked up. I don't know why. Okay, um, this is a demo about KV Droid. Yeah, I've been working on a K on KV Droid for a week now. Yeah, I guess. Uh, we're trying to make the whole thing a framework. Yeah, uh, so that you can have full access to Android API without actually using PyGenius. Yeah, you just have to do things more Pythonic way, no longer doing it in a Java web boss way. You know, it's there. The API of Android is too verbose, like the Java code that too. So it is no longer for you to kind of like start knowing what Java is before you can use that. So we're wrapping everything up with KV Droid, and we're also working towards creating. Uh, using KV Droid to create an application, a mobile app only, no KV, no KVMD, but you can still be able to use the functions inside of your KV code if you want. So I'm going to launch the application. Um, this was made with KV. The next demo you will see on KV Droid is going to be that of our uh, that of what that of native Android native code. So yeah, I'm going to start with the last and the least. Yeah. Now this is notification. All right. Come on. Good. This is it. So as you can see, the there is a very much great difference on for that on player. The notification on player doesn't pop up this way. You don't see it that way. Uh, so we actually included that. But this involves you adding Android X. To your code, yeah, to the builder set of spec file, yeah, Android X must be there. As you can see, the icon there is colored, unlike the ones you get with Playa. The icons are not colored. The reason why I did not push this to Playa is because I'm going to break uh, Playa's philosophy of cross-platform. Yeah, I want. I was my whole focus was on Android, so I decided to push it to Kevin Droid and become a member there. And yeah, then you have the this is is the big picture, right? Big image, I I, I guess. Oh no, don't silence. Come on, done. Good. Then hello from blah blah blah. This is a tiny image you see there. Something you normally get from Google News, I guess. So that's just it. You have click. It opens the app, right? It's a button. You can handle that if. You will put a function for that. You have reply. Then you can type. Ah, and send. But you have to handle how you collect the information from the app. As you can see, I didn't do anything handling there. Let me run it again and see the beautiful notification one more time. Yeah, so this is it. And it has color at the text and icon too. Unlike player. Okay, you have open custom tab. This is going to open. A Chrome web view inside of your app yeah it's kind of like a custom tab which Android created something you get on Facebook yeah Facebook or Twitter or telegram or telegram launches just outside of the app I guess yeah it's not I guess that yeah I know so instead of actually launching a web browser out of your app you launch this within your app within it's within the app and uh, you can close this you never exited your app at all if you press the back button it still closes it and goes direct back to your app no because it, it's still inside your app okay so you have read my contact read my contact it's not going to display anything actually you're going you're going to use a log card to view that for now so if you download the app use a log card to view your contact on your terminal um, I'm going to still figure out a way to do that to put it to display on the screen later on. The my contacts are too long, so using a label is not wise. Uh, using something more realistic will be okay. But for now, I I, I won't handle that. But later in the future, I would. 
so you have the die and you have the call and you are free to make a pr a pull request on kv droid if you can fix some issues it's nice so you have the die it's going to open up the dialer yeah kv droid is awesome right cool yeah i'm sure this exists on player too i know <laughs> all right now you have call i'm not going to click on call i'm not going to click on stream online music um they are both gonna affect the app somehow i don't know this is a video and i don't want it to be long play music play music is going to be second to the last thing i'll do uh yeah i don't want it to interfere with anything i'm doing so get from chrome detail get chrome details it's going to open app info of chrome yeah this is quite awesome very very marvelous okay we're going to go back to our app you have launch chrome internally and externally launch chrome internally is going to launch chrome browser within your app activity that is you never left your app but launch chrome externally is going to run, launch chrome outside of your app activity so for now yeah let me click external i'm not going to do launch chrome internally yeah it's going to misbehave somehow it is not an issue it's because i'm doing a uh, video record. assuming i'm not doing any video record yeah this will be an issue so let me pause the video and minimize because yeah i see the reason why i paused yeah i've explained that. <laughs> okay launch room internally is what i won't do for now then it's going to actually uh widen my screen a little bit i think so yeah see that gave it right went up good text to speech uh so you have to wait for this it actually initializes before talking so it's still going to talk but it's going to waste time this is kv droid yeah, application talking now. let me increase my volume and press it again this is kv droid application talking yeah it talked search wallpaper is not going to work now if i click on it it's going to crash so it's not working forget about it um, change statue bar i don't have a navigation bar so if i should click on this is nothing is gonna happen but if i should click on change statue bar color notice that the statue bar changed its color now i'm going to still do a tutorial video on every single one of these function programmatically how they work how you can code them so i'm just going through all these to just give you a preview of what to expect in the future download manager i don't know whether it's going to work now but i'm going to leave it yeah because it's going to hang my phone it works it works just that it requires your network and once is getting information from before starting to download it hangs my phone yeah so i won't do that now so i have toast most of you know toast right yeah that is share file and there is share text was i sharing any text at all okay let me share to whatsapp and just once yeah. to whom am i sharing to the kvmd group yay okay whatsapp is wasting my time yeah let's wait for it <laughs> Uh, it's still holding my contact. What's wrong with WhatsApp? I don't know. Okay, now we have KVMD. Let me share it to KVMD. Set from KVMD. Let me send that. <laughs> Let me send that. They will all be surprised. They're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to click on restart app. Restart app is going to actually restart the app. So see that. Boom. In case you want to restart your app, let's say you made some changes that requires your app to start. Let's say you don't know how to handle dark mode after 
changing dark mode light mode some text wouldn't be normal like some will still be black but if you want everything to go back to initial you just restart the app and you don't want you don't just want you the user to close your app and uh open it again no you just want to click a button and everything will do that automatically so we just restarted now let's test out download manager <sighs> yeah it's hanging it's hanging guys okay see what will happen i don't know when it's gonna start downloading but i don't have a good network speed right now so i, I was actually meant to run this code on a thread but i didn't do that i don't know i don't know what's wrong with my fucking brain okay guys see you on my next video about notification web views programmatically no longer um, previews so see you guys uh, i think i'm about to go to bed